Hi everyone, it's Dorcas and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through planning my February bullet journal pages. Now, if I was a little conservative on the color front in January, often just for black, white, and a little bit of blue, um, I'm going to go a little bit more wild in February in honor of Love and Friendship Month. So let's go back to my desk and get started. All right, February, let's do this. So for February's monthly calendar, I wanted to make it bigger than what I had done for January. If you recall, in January, I had one big quote on the first page and then the calendar was just on that opposite page. So this time I wanted to make that calendar expand across both pages while also leaving space for, you know, next month's events and some goals to keep in mind for the month. Um, February is not only you know for Valentine's Day but President's Day also takes place during February and it's also Black History Month so I still wanted to add a little quote in this first page. Um, I try to tie in all three with a quote I found by former President Barack Obama and it says change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. And I know it doesn't have anything to do with relationships and, and whatnot, but I thought it was pretty fitting nonetheless. So now just erasing all of my pencil marks. I still always like to lay out my, my pages with pencil before I start inking. And then this time I decided to go a little more bold with the color. I know that in January I was a little more conservative with, you know, with the with the coloring, even though this book can totally handle it. Um, for some reason I was just liking the the black and white simple simple spreads that I created for January during that time. But you know what? It's February. Let's live it up a little bit. We're like deep in winter and I really needed some color. So I'm just, you know, adding swatches, random colors, but keeping with the same warm themes of, you know, yellows, oranges, pinks, and reds. And I really like how it turned out. I mean, the, the colors blended really nicely. It was a little bolder at first, but then once it dried, it, it kind of lightens up. So for the next page, I wanted to go back to the same habit trackers that I had done for January. Um, I might have even done even more habit trackers this time around. I guess I really love doing those 10,000 little tiny calendars. Not. I do love, you know, I have the little banners at the top and like I said before, I'll circle the day that I accomplish each of those habits. And I cannot stress enough that you want to double check your dates, go back, check those calendars uh, to make sure that you do not mess up. And I say this as a foreshadowing of what's to come <laughs> once I design the first weekly spread. I also have a, a little mood tracker in the bottom. I decided to keep it simple and I will just color in the dates um, according to the mood that I'm feeling that day. You know, thinking back on it, I probably should have thought more about the colors that I'm using so that, you know, for the mood tracker, so that it would coordinate with the colors that I'm painting the pages. For example, that green. It's eh, not the best choice, but you know, it is what it is. I also really like the brain dump page that I did for January, so I decided to just recreate that for February. And yeah, just doing some more of this, you know, just fun splotches of, you know, red, yellows, and pinks, and orange, and I just love how, just how vibrant it is. At first I was kind of concerned that maybe I wouldn't be able to see my writings, like especially on the brain dump page, but like I said earlier, this 
the paint just lightens up once it's dry. And honestly, I don't want to paint in the color, the mood tracker, so I just carefully paint it around it. And the paint, the paper does curl a bit when, as it's drying and once it's dry, but once I've closed it and have it, you know, shut with the elastic for a little bit overnight, it totally straightens out. So for my first weekly spread of February, I decided to just recreate what I'd been doing in January, which is just a column per day across both pages and then dividing the last one into two for Saturday and Sunday since there are less tasks during the weekend. Um, you'll note that you know I do my my weekly spreads going Monday to Sunday instead of Saturday uh, Sunday to Saturday um, so I totally messed up on the day up top that should have been from the 4th and to the 10th and once I realized that I used my white jelly roll to cover over the the three um, but you could still see it so I used a white white out tape but that wasn't staying on um, so I decided to just you know pull it off after I realized that oh the ninth is also wrong and use gouache to cover up both um, both dates I let it dry for a little bit first um, before adding the proper dates so I went ahead and you know fill out the the columns I added my drop shadow to make it stand out stand out a little more and also to give paint some time to dry um, here I am, you know, erasing all of my pencil marks. And now that the gouache has dried, I put in the proper dates. And here we go again with the paint splotches. You know, I'm avoiding that area with the, the 4 to, to the 10th because I know that the ink has not dried entirely. Um, so if you do use gouache or paint to cover over your mistakes, just be aware that any ink you applied on top of that um, might take a little longer to dry than if it was just on the paper. I have to admit that I did not give it enough time to dry, so it smudged a little bit, but I mean, nothing I can't live with. I'm just adding some more oranges and pinks and reds and just eventually all the colors started to look the same because I kept just dipping my brush in all of the paints at the same time um, and so there we go um, and now let's take a look through February's monthly spread I love this quote um, that I found by Barack Obama um, I love you know just the different colors that are on there it's so much texture I like you know the tiny little calendars as always and we'll see how the mood tracker fares this time I was very happy with January so hopefully this one's as this one is as much fun and and here's the first weekly spread So there you have it folks, February is off to a very vibrant start. I do have to say, the fact that I didn't go for a black, dark, depressing, soulless theme for Valentine's Day just speaks to the maturity that's happened in my life over the last 15 years. I hope you liked this video, thank you so much for watching, give it a thumbs up, do all the things that people ask you to do at the end of the YouTube videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!